Well, sir, right now, let's bring on the reigning Worldwide Rusting Federation heavyweight champion, the man who, when he probably got back to the dressing room in Boston, went, Phew, because, Mr. Graham, you almost lost it. I was sweating. Matter of fact, I was, as you know very good and well, I was carried back to the locker room. The man literally, bodily, physically, and maliciously and viciously threw me over the top rope against the plexiglass used at the hockey matches and ruptured practically my spleen, and I was carefully, physically drugged back to the locker room, and the belt was drugged behind me by the skin of my teeth. I held onto this belt, unaware that the American dream was so vicious, unaware that he meant business. But now, now that I know he means business, I'm gonna be on the defensive. The Grand Wizard covered my plan, right, Grand Wizard? Defense, defense, defense. That's right, defense all the way. The superstar and I are to aware of the viciousness that lies between the evil heart of Dusty Rhodes. Well, American Dream, you're going to be in for quite a surprise in Boston because the superstar and I do have the new strategy. And you, son of a plumber, gone down the drain, little tidy bowl man. The Grand Wizard of Wrestling along with superstar Billy Graham. Right now, we did indeed make reference to the ranked number one contender earlier. Let's bring on the son of a plumber. Let's bring on a man whose dream appears to unquestionably be on the, the proper path to come true. I just was uh, rapping before I come up here to probably one of the greatest athletes in our country today, Bob Backlund. And he told me, he said, you know, he said, if they got a good defense, he said, you got to counter it with a good offense. And it's very true, because the American dream is offensive there. You know, I'm, I'm minded that way. I'm geared to offense, you understand? I'm geared to moving. I'm geared to jabbing. I'm geared to moving. I'm geared to takedown. I'm geared to taking superstars Billy, Billy Graham's big 22-inch arm in my hands and ripping up on it. And he be talking about, I was hurt. You know what was hurt about superstar Billy Graham? His feelings were hurt. His feelings were hurt because when he went home, his, his whoever he was with say, boy, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for letting that man jump on you like that and then let beat you half a death. The weasel went out and got loaded on milk and everything. It was so messed up, he didn't know where it was going or what it was doing. The whole town was electrified. It's gonna happen. Superstar Graham will find the end of a rainbow. The dream will win in Boston.